Hey YouTube, Matchy here with another quick tutorial. Um, this one is something I just saw on a Clip Studio Paint ad. Um, and I was like, I didn't know you could do that. I was kind of blown away. Um, and basically what it is, is you can use your paint bucket tool or your fill tool, however you want to call it. And you can use it and just drag and drag color into different sections. You don't have to click, 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 click. Um, here's the quickest and easiest demo I can give you. I'm just going to take the paint bucket over here in this first section and then just drag it all the way to the other end. Yep, it's that easy. Want to see it again? I'll do it slow-mo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. One more time real fast. Pretty cool, right? Uh, I had no idea you could do this. Um, it's kind of a time saver. Um, I was wondering what the real world application of this would be and I actually have already started work using it in my workflow. Um, let me give you a quick example. This is just a circle with some feathering in it. Um, but this appears all the time in uh, my drawings and stuff. I do a lot of feathering around anatomy and whatnot. And um, so when I go to, let me just set this up real quick for you. Um, when I go to color these things like these in, um, you know, one of the good features of Clip Studio Paint is that it has um, gap closing for the fill tool, which means that it, you know, you don't have to have a perfectly closed um, line to successfully fill an area. But um, one of the drawbacks of that is that you um, end up with something like this, where, as you can see, um, it closes a gap in the feathering and doesn't color everywhere. And then you're kind of meticulously trying, you know, this is probably a best case scenario. A lot of times it gets really, really a little crazy. So um, here's how it works with, with this tool though. Let me put control Z. So you can fill that in and then just boom. Or you could do it the other way. but it's just a really easy way to kind of fill in an area. So um, I think it's actually useful. I'm already using this, this, and I had no idea. There's no special settings, it just works. And uh, yeah, I was just blown away when I saw that ad. So um, hopefully this is useful to some of you. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Um, also check out my Instagram. Um, I'm going to put some links down below. Um, one of them about reference layers, which kind of pertains to what I'm doing here. I think you might find that useful. And then also just links to uh, about my comic and my social media and all that kind of stuff. So um, thank you for watching. This is Matchy. See you next time.